This is Jason over here at Go Power Sports, and today I'm going to help you choose the right centrifugal clutch. Now, a centrifugal clutch is a device that goes onto your engine's crankshaft, attaches to a chain, and hopefully gets your mini bike or go kart moving. So, there is a difference between clutch and torque converters. A clutch is going to be used on mini bikes and one wheel peeled go karts, where a torque converter can harness more power. It can move bigger go-karts using a live axle or if you're using an engine with a lot of torque. But a centrifugal clutch is a great way and an economical way to get your mini bike and go-kart up and moving. So let's go over our options. There's two things I like to start out with. First, let's talk about the bore. Now we have three common bore sizes. We have the 5 8 bore, which is also pretty close to a 16 millimeter. You'll typically see these on three horsepower engines and smaller. Our 98cc engine will take a 5 8 bore clutch, as well as the Coleman Heisen engines running that 5 8 crankshaft. So we have 5 8 We also do our most common is going to be our 3 quarter inch bore. And for your bigger engines, uh, like your Predator 301, 420, and your Duramax 18 horsepower engines, they're gonna have a one inch crankshaft, so then we have a clutch for those engines. So the bore is gonna be the inside dimension of your existing clutch. And this looks like it is 5 8 If you don't have a clutch, you can also measure your engine's crankshaft. Your clutch will be sitting on the crankshaft. You wanna know the diameter, so go from left to right, get that measurement, and that looks to be a 5 8 as well. So we know that our crankshaft is a 5 8 We know that the bore on this clutch is a 5 8 It'll slide right on. Now we need to know our pitch, and we'll get that by going tooth to tooth and figuring out that spacing. And this one looks to be half inch. Our most common pitches are going to be either 3 8 for number 35 chain or half inch for number 40, 41, or 420 chain. If you don't have an existing clutch that you can measure the pitch on, you can go to your mini bike or go-kart's rear sprocket, check that sprocket's pitch just to see which chain you're running. Or if you have an old chain laying around, sometimes it, the chain number is imprinted on the side of the chain. Or you can go from roller to roller on the chain to find the pitch as well. So for our 5 8 bore, if you have a half inch pitch, there's only one option. It's a 10 tooth clutch. It's going to run your 40, 41, and 420 chain. If you're running a number 35 chain with a 5 8 bore, we have two options at the moment. It's an 11 tooth and a 12 tooth clutch. Theoretically, that 12 tooth clutch is gonna get you more top end speed, but it does depend on your gear ratio. All right, the three quarter inch bore clutch is what we stock the most of. It is our most common clutch out here just because it fits the Tilton 196, 212, 225 engines, your Predator 212s, your Predator 224 Ghost. Uh, but these clutches are highly sought after. Here are a few options in our three quarter inch bore clutches. We have our Go Power Sports branded aftermarket clutches. They have our name on the back. These engage around 2200 RPMs. We have the aftermarket version. We also have our domestic max torque version. What's nice in the max torque version is that they have a 2200 stall uh, clutch and they also have a 3000 stall RPM clutch. What that 3000 stall will allow you to do is basically you have to rev your engine up to 3000 RPMs just to get moving. This is going to be great for a bunch of our racers or engines that are running performance parts on them. In the number 34 clutch, we also have a max torque racing clutch. What's nice about these is that you can go from a 10 to a 16 2 sprocket depending on what kind of gear ratio you're trying to reach. In the three quarter as well, if you have a half inch pitch, that means you're running 40, 41, or 420 chain, then you can use our heavy duty 1041 clutch. This can be ran either way, inboard or outboard. It's going to have a 10 tooth option. It's gonna have stronger components to it, but it will not replace the power of a torque converter. And if you have a Predator 301 420 Duramax 18 horsepower engine and your crankshaft is one inch in diameter, we only have one option for you. That's going to be our 1041 heavy duty clutch with a one inch bore. This can only be ran one way because this side is one inch and the other side is a lot smaller just so that you can put your crankshaft bolt through it. 
This is great for mini bikes and one wheel peel go-karts running those bigger engines, but this will not take the place of a torque converter. If you're running like a golf cart or just a big go-kart that's moving a lot of weight, this won't last as long as a torque converter, but it's still nice if you have a mini bike or a one wheel peel go-kart. We also have some notable clutches. We stock a three quarter inch bore clutch for number 410 and 415 bicycle chain. And we also stock a bully style or a blue printed racing clutch in a two disc or a three disc option. Those are nice for like your go-kart racers. You can adjust them to where you can have them stall 2000 to 4000, 5000 RPMs, whatever you want. Just the adjustability makes those clutches really nice for racers. With all of these clutches, it is best to keep them lubricated just to uh, prolong the clutch's life. We use a Maxima chain wax out here but we'll typically use this once a week, depending on how many times we're running this clutch. And it's best to spray your clutch behind the snap ring and onto the bushing that's gonna be constantly turned. So make sure you spray down in here behind your snap ring to lubricate your clutch and make sure not to get your springs with lubrication. Keep those dry. All right, we have just now discussed all of our clutch options. I'm going to link all the parts in the description below so you can go over every single one of these and make sure you like, subscribe, and as always, ride on.